Hello, welcome back. Another quick update. Right, um, I've got the towers in, clutch and um, brake. You can see here they're pretty much original as is. I've finished doing the, uh, the plumbing um, for both the clutch and the brake. So with the brake it comes around. I've held it in place by these two clips here. Then it joins, it goes all the way and then joins to the junction here. It comes up down around here and joins in this little bracket here. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. Probably not, not there. And then heads down towards the, um, the clutch fire, the flexible hose. So um, I also started putting in some other things, for example the Smith's heater um, switch. I've put the, I think I've done this already um, with the previous update, but that's the stop cable, the stop, this is the original choke, cold start choke cable that I've used to um, use it as a, as a stop for the, uh, for the pump. And now I've got you see here I've got two switches, or solenoid starter buttons. This one up the top here is going to be for my glow plugs. And this is of course the standard um, starter. And what I've done, actually quite sneaky here. So original, original starter position. There's the glow plug switch. And you can see it's kind of a little bit hidden behind the hand throttle unit. But it's enough for me to actually go in there and press it and hold it in and then I'll hit the start straight after that. As I said, there's the Smith's heater. All installed and working. And the fuel um, switch or for the pump. So I've done a lot. I've also just finished bleeding the clutch, so now that's presumably working. I have to actually um, most likely fine tune it. Um, I'm yet to do the brakes. That's going to be interesting from everything that I've read. Bleeding the brakes, particularly on a 11-inch uh, set, is not that much fun, but uh, anyway, it's got to be done. And so what I'm doing now is I'm working on the... Oh, the other thing I've done is I've relocated the, the ballast over here for the glow plugs. The reason why I've done it there is because I didn't want to drill anything, any new holes. I think I mentioned that in the previous video. And eventually when I replace these glow plugs with the later model uh, probe types, I think they don't need a ballast at all. So again, not wanting to drill anything there because I don't need to. Still struggling with where I'm going to mount this filter. I'll have to just kind of sit on that and ponder. And uh, but with the starter, um, because this is a because this is a uh, series three engine, it kind of works like more of a modern design where you've got a solenoid on the starter motor that actually kicks and um, starts her up. So when I was when I used to crank this, I had and still have the main positive going right around to the back to the uh, starter motor. In fact, I'll just go there now. So the black cable here, which you probably won't be able to see, comes into the starter motor, and then where this yellow spade terminal is, that's where the solenoid is, and basically um, I was bridging these two here um, to crank the, um, the solenoid starter motor. So what I'm going to be doing is effectively continuing on with that same principle. So this one will just, the red one will go to the feed and the black one will go to the solenoid where the yellow spade is. And then when I press the button after, after turning the ignition on, um, hopefully she'll um, then start. That's why I don't need those really thick um, that, uh, cables that were originally with the with the solenoid button and yeah I think that's about it so I'm making good progress 
I will say that next next update, what I what I will be doing is, once I've got the the brakes bled and I've cleaned up around the place, I actually do want to start it and I do want to drive it out to the driveway, or at least to the backyard. So I'm really looking forward to that. And that so that's it. Another update. Things are looking less and less needed here. In fact. Some of this stuff here I can take out because they're duplicates from the 109. And um, the next major thing after I've got the, the uh, brakes bled and had a bit of a drive around is the wiring. So um, oh, on that note, a little bit of a tip here um, from me after um, doing this. If you've got the bulkhead off and you've restored the bulkhead, what you need to do and what's best to do is to try to put all the components back in, the steering, the uh, pedal boxes, acceler uh, the accelerator mechanism, all of that because it, it just becomes a little bit more fiddly trying to do it whilst um, it's on here. Not so much the pedal boxes but once you start getting into this kind of com cramped compartment here and um, you know with fitting the linkages and so on. So that's my recommendation, that you try to put as much as you can in before putting the bulkhead back on. Right, I'll um, mosey on and hopefully the next video you'll see me um, chuffing around with this thing working. Until then, thanks for watching.